stealing from students. Good evening. I'm Kenny Choi. And I'm Yanji Denise. Waipahu Intermediate students will return to school Friday without important video production equipment. The cameras were rolling when that thief broke in and his crime was all caught on tape. Our Paul Drews has our top story. Tony Arnejo spends many evenings at the Solela Community Media Lab editing together programs about issues he feels are important to Hawaii. A lot of people don't know about a lot of things, what's going on behind the scene. And we as a community member, I want our community to be aware of what's happening out there. Community members can use the equipment four nights a week, while Waipahu Intermediate students use the facility on school days as they learn about video production. This place is full of cameras, but what you're looking at is not someone wanting to use the equipment, but instead wanting to steal it. A burglar broke in on July 11th, smashed his way into locked cabinets and rooms, and took three high-definition cameras. We look at our equipment as resources for the community to use. And we have a very limited supply on our, our, new, on our newer HD cameras. Two laptops were also taken, one from the school, the other from the Olelo program. Thousands of dollars worth of gear is gone. So is a sense of safety at this center, which has been used by the school and community for the past five years. It definitely is disheartening because, it's, for one, it's a safety issue for us um, about fe feeling secure in our building. How sad how much Olelo does for the community. There's good and bad in everywhere, everywhere we go. Temporary safety fixes have now been put in place until more permanent repairs can be made to the doors. The school principal says this isn't the first time my Pahu Intermediate's been broken into. Earlier this summer, a man smashed his way into several buildings, taking bathroom fixtures. But this time, the criminal was caught in the act, at least on tape. In Waipahu, Paul Drews, KITV4 News. And police need your help tonight to identify the suspect. If you have any information on this case, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers. That number, 955-8300.